Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through how to wire up an 11 pin relay. These are the components I will use in the video to demonstrate the relay. I will be using a blue push button with a normally open contact block. A relay socket for the relay. A 24 voltage DC 11 pin relay. And a blue and green lamp for indication. To get a better understanding how the 11 pin relay is built up and how we should wire it, we can take a look at the side of the relay. It will tell us how it should be wired up. The numbers that are written with a thicker layout is the same as the outer row on the relay socket. And the other numbers with a thinner layout is the same as the inner row of numbers on the relay socket. In my opinion, it is easiest to just keep track of the outer row of numbers since they are named from 1 to 11 and will be visible when we add the relay to the socket. To A1 and A2 is where we wire our incoming current that will trigger the coil. 24 voltage plus will go to A1 terminal 2 and 24 voltage minus will go to A2 terminal 10. Then we got three switches that will change position once the coil is triggered. So as an example, if we want to wire up the first switch, we first want to give it an incoming current to terminal 1 on the relay socket. The maximum current we want to put on here is 10 ampere with 300 voltage. Else we can burn the relay. Then on the other side, we can decide if we want to wire the output to either terminal 4 which is a normally closed output. Or else we can wire it to terminal 3 which is a normally open output that will get contact once the coil gets triggered. I will be using WAGO connectors to wire up my 24 voltage plus and minus from my power supply. First, I will connect my normally open push button from my 24 voltage plus WAGO connector to the A1 terminal on the relay socket. Then I will connect A2 to my 24 voltage minus WAGO connector.
To terminal 1, I will connect 24 voltage plus from my WAGO connector. Then, I will connect terminal 11 with it. Next, I will connect my two lamps to the outputs. The blue lamp will go to terminal 9, and the green lamp will go to terminal 3. I will now connect my lamps to the 24 voltage minus WAGO connector. Now everything is done wired. Let's test out the circuit. Thank <laughs> you. 
I will rewire my green lamp to terminal 4 which is the normally closed output. Let's see how it will differentiate from previous wiring. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.